So some of you may not know Nicole as well as I know her. She loves her plants maybe more than Josh some days. <laughs> She's terrified of heights, but yet she got engaged on a cliff. Thanks for being who you are, and I'm thankful that you have found someone just as crazy as you are. All the best to you and Josh, and I can't wait to watch you guys grow together as husband and wife. And I love you. And I'll be there when you need me. You can count on it every time. It won't always be easy. Josh, I promise to love you all the days of my life. I will seek to love you even when I don't feel like it. <laughs> I promise to love and support you as best as I can to build you up every day and to be an encouragement to you. I will help you fulfill God's calling on your life and support you wherever you lead us. Who knows where that might be, but... <laughs> I will walk with you through every circumstance the Lord has for us as long as we are living. I love you, Josh, and you're God's Thanks. greatest gift. Oh, from this day forward, for better or worse, I will love you until death is part. Nicole, the love of my life. I promise to always love and honor you, to place nothing in my life before the Lord and you, that you may always have priority in my life above all else. I promise to always direct us both to the Lord and following Him all the days of our lives. I commit to learning more about you each day. I promise to seek your interests before my own in order to sacrificially love you as Christ has loved me. Nicole, I promise to honor you, lead, protect, guide, and love you all the days of my life. I love you. We are gathered here today before God as witnesses to this glorious, glorious occasion when Josh and Nicole unite their hearts in holy matrimony. It is the love of Jesus Christ that sustains and protects the marriage relationship. It's His love, that's it. Love each other with that kind of love and you'll have a great marriage. What Jesus gave to believers was His own life. As Paul says, an offering and a sacrifice to God. That's what love looked like. That was Christ's love. If you want to be a great husband and lead your wife to enjoy your years together, then like Christ did for the church, lay down your life for the glory, and you will love her. Reading it again in Ephesians 5. Wives, submit to your husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as also Christ is the head of the church. And he is the savior of the body. Therefore, just as the church is subject to Christ, so let wives be to their husbands in everything. Josh, Nicole, you have promised to be faithful and true to each other in the presence of God and before these witnesses gather today. I pronounce you husband and wife. Josh, I don't know how you feel about public displays of affection. <laughs> We're all about to find out. <laughs> you may kiss your bride. hardships and difficulties, or maybe even a couple drumsticks. I have a feeling that their marriage can withstand whatever is thrown their way. <laughs> That's something that stands out to me a lot about Josh, is his heart for service, his heart to serve the Lord, to serve wherever service needs to be done. She doesn't let anything to stop her from reaching her goal. Each of these things make Nicole who she is, and I wouldn't have it any other way. It's our hope, Josh and Nicole, you will share the new journey you've started today with love and laughter. We are so proud of this day with you and Josh. You need to work us. Josh, we welcome you officially. Take time to enjoy life with each other. Nicole, we love you. Oh, love,